Today we have a new challenge level inside of Clash Clans and I'm going to show you how I beat it and I'm going to show you how the pro beats it. What's going on Clash Bashers? Rocky here today and today we have a brand new qualifier challenge coming to Clash of Clans. This was from last month's qualifier and this attack is wild. SY Vic from JX Tiger who actually won the qualifier uses a P.E.K.K.A. Smash but he uses it in a really, really unique way and it works really, really well. So what I'm going to do here today is I'm going to show you how I beat the base and I'm going to show you how Vic beat the base. So we're going to show you two ways to beat this qualifier challenge and it's a tough one. But before we hop into the challenge, today's video is being sponsored by Ragnarok Origin. Ragnarok Origin is an MMORPG that is heavily based on the original Ragnarok Online. Ragnarok Origins is in pre-registration and you can register right now in this game you're going to be the hero you're going to be able to explore massive landscapes legend kingdoms and even mythical dungeons in this open world rpg when you go and pre-register for ragnarok origin you're actually going to be entered for your chance to win a tesla model s that's a pretty awesome giveaway so make sure you guys go check out the site down there in the description and get pre-registered for ragnarok origin today along with that awesome giveaway there's going to be a closed beta scheduled for september 23rd to september 27th so you'll be able to get a first look at ragnarok origin Origin. this game looks really really fun if you're into open world rpgs ragnarok origin is definitely gonna be for you so make sure you follow that link down there in the description and go pre-register today so first off let's look at the army because the army is pretty interesting it's a pekka smash it's a pretty traditional pekka smash three pekkas four super wizards five healers really easy stuff like that's normal stuff but we got party wizards and there. remember last month the party wizards were in game we have five balloons we got two super wall breakers pretty interesting stuff there we got three witches that vic sent with the kings for the funnel and i'm going to take a page out of vic's book and do the same in my version we got an ice golem we got one headhunter one headhunter what the heck uh but that actually comes in really nice for my tech as far as spells we got four rages one jump three freeze and one poison now vic did something really interesting with this warden uh and ran the owl on the warden and i'll show you when we get to vic's attack why vic did that in my opinion but normally you use a unicorn on there and one thing to note if you're a lower town hall you might have to switch your warden to ground mode while doing this because uh, a lot of times it'll start you on air but switch that warden to ground mode because we're going to do a warden walk and another thing to consider if you know how to use this or if you have a tablet go to your settings more settings and go to deployment bar size and turn on use two rows that'll help you that way you're not scrolling back and forth in this attack there's a lot of scrolling in this attack so go to your settings more settings and turn that on that way you can use that while you're using this attack and while you're there go to your settings and enter code bash because i happen to notice oh Oh, man there's some there's some new offers in the shop guys new offers in the shop should we buy those on rocky 3 uh by the time this video comes out those might be gone but i think i'll buy them anyways <laughs> yeah. but let's go ahead let's get back into it guys let me show you my way to beat this and i'm gonna be honest guys this is tough there's a lot of precision that goes into my way to Vic's way. This is a tough base to beat, and there's a lot going on. And the double deployment bars is because you're just going to be scrolling left and right and right and left. Now, on my attack, eh, maybe not as much, but let's go ahead. Let's start off. Let me show you guys my attack. And, guys, please remember, if this is helpful, if this helps you beat the challenge, do me a favor. Leave a like on the video. Like, that's it helps me out so much. I can never emphasize enough how much leaving a like on the video helps me out. So, really appreciate that, guys. Seriously, from the bottom of my heart, it means a ton. Let's Let's start our attack though let's go let's quit rambling let's start our attack so we're gonna start with the warden here and i just want him near the bottom side of this elixir collector i'm gonna throw in the uh healers there and i'm gonna go with two balloons there and i'm gonna throw in a party wizard right here okay that's the start of the attack uh while he's working i'm gonna go ahead and throw a party wizard in there and a wall breaker there simple simple and you got a little bit of time so if you forget initially you can do that a little bit later not the end of the world we're gonna let that party wizard just start working through there clear out some of these buildings as many as he can and that's nice that that is gonna be beautiful i'm gonna go ahead and throw this archer in just let her clean up a little bit you'll notice the owl's gonna get taken out here that's okay that's part of vic's original plan not a whole lot we can do about it once he locks onto the king though we're gonna drop in a rage and i'm gonna throw in this one headhunter the headhunter might not get the king but it's gonna do enough to get the king down faster so that our warden isn't gonna be stuck up on the king for a month and a half that's the main goal there make sure that our warden isn't stuck there forever now i'm actually gonna throw in a party wizard over there and then we're gonna pull out our warden right here okay 
So we're going to pull him out right there, and then we're going to start working all of this up the middle. I'm going to throw in this, throw in this, and I'm actually going to go ahead and throw in an early freeze right there. While that's all working, I'm going to go ahead and throw the king in there. No, the king's going to work through this side. I'm going to throw in the three witches there. And then the ice golem should pop for a second freeze. Beautiful. And then we're going to go ahead and just let this all work through here. I'm going to go ahead and rage there. And we have to get the super wizards in. I, I like to delay them so that they're not taking a lot of damage from that scatter shot. That's why I delayed them there. That is on purpose. But don't forget to, do, to put them in because I have forgot to put them in here. Uh, and, and that's not good. You, you want to get your, your super wizards in there. So that's all working beautifully right on through there. Now let's see what we can do here. We can actually probably put that right in there. We can throw in our royal champion right here. We do have one more rage that we can throw in there. We should have one more freeze. Nice. Let's throw in these balloons right there. Nice. We got a lot of tanking through this base. Queen's going to work through the multi. And this is looking really nice, guys. This is looking really, really good. So our Royal Champion's gonna work through here. Everything's taken out on the top side. We can just throw cleanup troops in, throw in that Seeking Shield. We got a freeze left over, basically. Nice, guys, that's exactly what we're hoping for. We got plenty of troops left for the cleanup, and that's how I beat it. Now, it takes a little bit to learn, and even Vixway is gonna take you a little bit to learn. There's a lot going on in this attack. That's the way I do it. Once that Eagle goes down, Pull the Warden out of there, use that freeze. The most important part I would say of this is using that freeze in that queen compartment because if not, you may lose your P.E.K.K.A.s quick. Uh, so don't be afraid to use that freeze right up, right in there. And then the Ice Golem will get in there ahead of everything so that you don't have to worry about using another freeze in there. So that's the most important part is use that freeze in this bottom compartment once you pull the P.E.K.K.A.s into there. So that's my way of beating it. Now let me show you how Vic did it because it's pretty interesting. So that's how I beat it. Let me show you guys how Vic beat it because it's a little bit interesting. And I think the reason we have the Owl on the Warden is because of the entry. We want the Owl to help out with this storage right here. So I do move the balloons a little bit differently here. But basically we're going to put a balloon on this mortar and then I'm going to put the Warden right right in between there so i'm going to put a balloon right there i'm going to put the warden right there and then i'm going to go ahead and put those healers there and then two balloons on this cannon they could have been a little bit closer but that's okay and then once that cannon goes down we're going to go ahead and throw the archer in the corner it's important to get that archer in early our warden's good there we're going to go ahead and throw in the wizard in the corner wall breaker there all right so that looks familiar right we, we got that all good uh we really want that archer just to get that camp out in the corner and then you notice the owl just gets enough to help us through here. We can rage in just to help get through that mortar. And we're going to be ready to pull our warden out here. All right, so warden's going to just work through. And we're going to be ready to pull him out using the king. I'm going to go ahead and let that dark dark drill go down. We're going to go like that. We're going to throw in the ice golem. We're going to throw in the wall brick. We're going to throw this in. I'm going to throw a peck in. Lots of stuff going on here, guys. Lots of stuff going on really, really quickly. Then we're going to throw in two pekkas over here. We're going to throw in our Super Wizards back here. And then once this P.E.K.K.A. gets this Elixir Collector down, we're going to throw in the King with the Witches. All right, so King right there. And then we're going to throw the Witches in behind. And then we're, we're good to just chill for a moment. Oh, so much going on in this attack, guys. So, so much going on. All right, and then we're going to go ahead and we're going to rage up through here. We're going to go ahead and hit the Warden ability because Clan Castle is going to come out. Let's go ahead and hit the King's ability, working through there. Nice. And sometimes I like to just throw a freeze in this compartment just to get the most value as possible. We're going to go ahead and rage through here, especially since we have that Royal Champion there. Our Queen's coming back. All right, it looks like... Uh, Oh, I don't think we actually need to jump there. My bad. Uh, let's overlap the rages there. All right, nice. Let's go ahead and freeze that town hall again. Uh, and you can use that headhunter down there in that compartment with the queen. I always forget, though. I always forget that. Let's go ahead and use our two balloons over here. All right, those two balloons should go down no problemo. We'll get the queen through here. All right, nice. We got our royal champion working out in front. Let's go ahead and clean that up there. All right, we still have our Royal Champion's ability. Queen's still working. All right, so we're in a decent little spot here. Let's go ahead and throw that Seeking Shield right on through there. Nice. We can throw this in for cleanup. We can throw that in for cleanup. We do get some skellies, but let's see if the Royal Champion can get through here. Nice. Perfect. This one took a lot of practice, guys. This one is tough. It is not an easy one, but you'll, you'll learn how to get it, and eventually you'll get it. Uh, 
even my way isn't like the easiest way it, it's a pretty tough base but this is a couple of options how to beat this challenge and remember you get unlimited tries so try not to get frustrated if you do mess up because i won't lie to you guys it took to do this method it took me probably 10 tries to figure out my own method probably 30 tries so don't get frustrated with it stick with it and beat this challenge so hopefully this video will help you guys beat that brand new challenge inside of clash of clans and while you're at it guys don't forget to go check out today's sponsor ragnarok origin there'll be a link down there in the description so you can go pre-register and check that game out thank you guys so much for watching you guys have a great day keep on clash bashing wow you watched that whole video here's another video that youtube thinks you'll like and here's a playlist of similar videos